Hey folks, uh, it's Jim here. Uh, the last few weeks uh, I've not posted many videos. Uh, I've been kind of uh, sick with the real bad flu. Uh, I've had a lot of house repairs to do. Uh, I've been doing a lot of repairs on my vehicles. I have three of them which are always needing something. Uh, so uh, anyhow, we're doing a little bit of a change here. Uh, the Dragon series is not getting very many views, so I guess it's not very interesting to people, so I'm going to cancel it. Um, there's no point going on when you're getting 150 views on a video. It takes several hours to make and uh, to edit, so I'm just going to cancel that project. So I'm going to do a little change here. Uh, I make a lot of things for the scale planes that I do, a lot of custom parts, uh, instrument parts, all kinds of things. Uh, this video is particularly just uh, how to make uh, uh, wheels for old uh, tires and wheels that you have hanging around in a box for the last 30 years. How to refurbish them and uh, make scale wheels. And uh, I, I'm just changing. What I'm going to do is uh, because I make all these parts, I design them, uh, print them, manufacture them, whatever. I do it for both my planes, uh, for the house. Uh, I've made parts for my refrigerator, which was busted. I've done other things uh, around the house where I've made 3D parts and so forth. Uh, I make a lot of parts for my vehicles. I, I'm restoring for the last year a... Uh, Audi TT Roadster, which is just falling apart because the plastics are crap and aged, you know, it's 24 years old or whatever. Uh, so I've made all kinds of neat things for that. I've done stuff for my Taurus, for my truck, all kinds of stuff. So I thought I'd uh, start doing a few of these videos on which are more useful uh, just for other things other than just toy aeroplanes so uh hope you enjoyed them if you do please give me a thumbs up leave comments let me know what you want to see uh how the videos are what you do and do not like about them and uh if you want to continue seeing these kinds of things um subscribe if you like to it really doesn't matter because i don't make a penny off this damn channel it's costing me more to make videos than what I've ever made, uh, which has been like a dollar fifty or something. But anyhow, um, let's get on with it. Do you also have a box of old wheels like I do from the 70s and 80s, which were all busted up and uh, sat there for the last 20 years or so? Uh, well, I'm going to show you how to make uh, some nice new scale wheels. Let's get started. These are the new ones, uh, made from old uh, set of tires and so forth. And uh, these are for my scale uh, Takano. So I'm going to show you how I actually designed them, printed them and uh, put them together. All right, we're going to uh, start the design of the uh, wheel. So I'm only working on one side, which is this side. And then I'm going to mirror, once I've got it all done, I'll mirror it over to the left hand side. So, um, what you do first, if you're you know, going to uh, use an old tire, is measure you know, the, these uh, sections here to uh, get the tire size that you need, and then simply draw a sketch of how you want it. Now, this is one half of, uh, this whole thing is one half of the diameter of the finished product. So let's do a revolve. So I'm going to come down here to the timeline. I'm going to advance one and that's going to give us our solid uh, body of the uh, right side. Then I'm going to advance and do it all over again, but this time for the left side. So I select the left side profile and do it like this. Now what I'm going to do is just sort of zoom in and give you an idea of how it looks. So you can see that now that I've highlighted the sketch, how the revolve works for those who don't know. So again, half the diameter and uh, whatever profile you want the finished uh, wheel to look like. I mean, you could have it set back, outwards, whatever. 
So now we'll advance again, and now we have our left side. So I'm going to turn off the right side, switch over. I'm going to turn off that sketch we had before. And now we're going to put the, uh, the nut in. This is going to be a recess for the nut. So all I'm going to do is extrude that back. I'll turn the uh, sketch off so you can see it. And now I want to do a uh, rotating revolve. Uh, not revolve, sorry, a circular pattern of uh, that X nut. So what I'm going to do is capture the feature itself, which then gives me whatever amount of uh, little nut recesses that I want. Uh, I think I've got nine here. I just picked an arbitrary number. It doesn't really, really matter. And then I'm now going to do the same, but this time I'm going to do it for the X bolt. So let's go look at the uh, right side of it. And you can see now I've got the uh, X bolt recess here. So this section here is the outer size of the bolt plus uh, whatever, quarter millimeter to give it some space. And this is going to be what we drill through the whole thing uh, to create the hole for the bolt. So now let's uh, do a, rot a rotary um, pattern on that, circular pattern. And uh, we're going to drill and also uh, do the recess at the same time. So now we've got the recess. Now we do the circular pattern. So again, that feature we capture and we just simply do it. Now turning both sides on, you can see that we have our bolts there we've got one side another side and both together so the reason i do it split like this is obviously because i have to retrofit into an existing tire uh, so it's not being molded in uh, uh, together in manufacturing as some do these days so now what we want to do is put the axle in so i've now got the axle right there let me turn these guys off. There we go. There's the axle. So we're now going to extrude that through, which is bump right the way through. And it drills through both of them. Turn off the sketch. You can now see it. So now we literally have two halves of the finished wheel. And it works great. Now, this fillet here is because it simply prints better on my printer. Um, and uh, I, I printed this on the resin printer and uh, it came out great. I use any cubic uh, ultra uh, tough resin. Uh, it's nice and flexible. It's got a slight flex to it, slight rubbery feel, but it's more like uh, ABS, except I, I think it's actually a little tougher because it's not as brittle. So I've smacked this with a hammer and it, the hammer just bounces off it. So <laughs> it worked really good. Now, uh, one thing just to tell you is I put a sleeve inside this. It's a hardened brass sleeve. Uh, it's metric because uh, my axle is five millimeters. Well, fraction less than five millimeters. Uh, this uh, tubing I use is six millimeters outside diameter with a half, in, uh, sorry, half millimeter wall thickness, which uh, once cut and inserted gives me exactly five millimeter inside diameter and that's exactly what i need so uh, let's carry on now if you have a non-scale uh, tire uh, like this one where the uh, inner wheel is just super tiny and very old-fashioned what you can do is uh, during doing the same design principle i've shown you is you can just extend the outer rim to cover more of the tire, which sort of gives you a more modern looking wheel and tire combination. So it's a real neat trick and it works great.